Good morning, folks. This is Aim Asam, Chief Market Analyst at Evertrade, and welcome to our daily technical analysis video. In today's segment, I am going to discuss about the S&P 500 and how the index is ready to resume its upward trend. Now, that is quite critical because the index has seen another down week, and I'm referring to last week's price action. So let's have a conversation around uh, potential support and resistance levels. But before we do that, as always, it is important for us to go through this slide of disclaimers and risk warnings. Anything which we will be discussing in this particular video can be uh, it cannot be taken as an advice. This is purely for education purposes. Now, as always, I'm going to bring out the MT4 platform, the platform which we all know how it looks like and then how to work with it. Now, as always, I am going to begin the analysis by looking at the weekly time frame. Now, when we look at the weekly time frame, you see that there are several different uh, lines on them. So. If I, we can ignore them or let's just say that I'm going to delete them just to make things a little bit more easier, right? Now, the three lines that we should be really focused on on our weekly time frame, folks, are as follows. First of all, in, the, in this one in purple, this is your simple 50-day uh, moving average. And then followed by that, this is your simple 100-day moving average. And this is your 200 week moving average. So all of these moving averages are your weekly moving averages, not your daily moving averages. Why? Because we are on our weekly time frame. As you can see that the tab is pressed. Now, the moment that I tap into the daily time frame, these moving averages, which were weekly moving averages, will change to daily moving averages. As you can see that the price is very close to its 50 the moving average but on a weekly time frame we are still very far from its 50 week moving average now when we look on the weekly time frame the first thing that we need to note is is the price trading above these moving averages or below these moving averages because if the price is trading above the moving averages it confirms that the trend is skewed to the upside and it is likely to remain to the upside an opportunity a massive opportunity for traders who do not like too much of a risk could be when the price comes close to its 50 week moving average like how the price was trading close to its 50 week moving average right over here but even bigger opportunities for traders who do not like to take much risk at all is when the price retraces back to its 200 week moving averages it doesn't really happen that often but whenever it happens the price tends to move very higher so as always over here when the price retraces to its 200 week moving average we saw this massive rally for the s p 500 index and then the price retraced back towards its 200 week moving average Again, we saw a massive rally to the upside. And then more recently, the price not only retraced, but it broke below the mid 200 week moving average, something which doesn't happen that often at all. But the moment that the price broke above the 200 week moving average, that was an indication that yes, this bull momentum is about to change its trend and it is going to go into a higher gear. And then that is what happened. Now, for traders who want to practice patience you may want the price to wait and wait for the price to come near its 50 week moving average because 50 week moving average also tend to uh, reform a good base like you can see over here when the price came near 50 week moving average it moved higher it came back to its 50 week moving high average and then again moved uh, back up but then it broke below the 50 week moving average touching all the way to 200 week moving average but when the price broke above the 50 week moving average, you can see the two retests happen and then again the price moves higher. So this is a pretty good indicator, but not as solid as the 200 week moving average. Now on daily time frame, the concept is again very much the same. Every time the price retraces back to its 50 week moving average, 50 day moving average, that is an opportunity, my friend, for the index to move higher. 
and right now on a daily time frame we do have that opportunity because the price is trading very very close to its 50 week moving average so let's see how the price evolved from here let's see how the market price actually goes from here but in terms of its resistance if you are taking the trade i would not target anything less than all-time high which is sitting in around 3548 to 3590 that is the target that you'll be very much looking at but for traders and investors who want to practice a little bit more patience traders who wants to take less risk they may want the price to wait and wait for the price to come near its 100 day moving average because 100 day moving average has a better uh, track record of when the price comes to it and when price retraces it then it is it, it moves higher from here as you can see from here the price retraced to its 200 uh, week moving average the moment that the price uh, well over here the price went below and then but the moment that the price went above the 100 week moving average we saw this massive massive rally to the upside but usually when the price breaks the 50 week moving average and the 100 week moving average it goes towards the 200 week moving average or even lower we've seen that evidence of that over here we've seen the evidence of that over here as well so every time the price breaks that we kind of moves to the, to the downside so let's but right now the opportunity is right over here as long as the price stays above the 50 week moving average the battle is still on for me the chances are that the price is going to continue its journey to the upside i think this could be just a dead cat bounce but i can be completely wrong and the confirmation of that will come when the price breaks above the high of this or the high of last week the high of last week is on top of this particular candle all right folks but nonetheless this is a good entry point in terms of a price so let's continue to have a look on this price action let's see how the price can really evolve from here because that is when we can see more price action more a bull run for this coronavirus stock market rally and then that is really be likely to drive the markets higher now quickly moving into a smaller time frame which is your four hour time frame what we're looking at is that more weakness more weakness more weakness why the price is trading below all the three important moving averages 50 100 and 200 days uh, sorry the, the, on, the, on the hourly time frame and as long as the price continues to trade below this downward trend line i really do not see the potential for the price to move higher so this bonds quite well with the daily time frame because in order for this upward trend to continue the price needs to break above this downward trend line now the confirmation of that will come when the price will break above this 200 moving average that this this right over here we want the price to break above this one because the moment it breaks above that we will have a lot more confirmation a lot more strength on our daily time frame because right now yes we have an indication that the price is back above the 50 day moving average which is positive we certainly do not want the price to break below that but further confirmation is going to come from the four hour time frame when the price continues to move higher and it comes and it challenges its 200 week 200 day moving average and then breaks above this downward trend line and then it will also have to challenge its 50 and 100 week moving average but once the price confirms and breaks above all these moving averages that means the trend is going to be very very positive for this coronavirus stock market rally and the last time it happened was back in june when the price was trading below all the moving averages and it came and it broke above the 200 day then 50 day then 100 day but then again there was a bit of a retracement back to this and then that rally started and ever since the price hasn't has tested the 100 week over here but it has never tested its 200 week moving average now on the four hour time frame we have seen for once price breaking below that the second time price breaking below that the second at uh, the third time the price breaking below and above that and then again now trading to the downside and we are forming a sort of a double top on a daily on, on a four hour time frame so keep uh, keep that in mind as well so the price can retrace from here so that possible trade 
is could be for a, for an intraday time frame is that put a stop loss on top of this 200 day moving average let the trade run to the downside but the upside on that is let the confirmation comes when the price breaks above the 200 break moving out 200 day moving average and put your stop losses below this particular candle just below this double top which is about to form right now all right that's all for today happy trading and I'll see you guys next time, same place.